Good morning, everyone. Show her 2300. Um, my name's Chris. It's been a hot minute since I've um, posted my video that I got my Tesla style stereo. Um, I was hoping to put that in uh, not too long after my last video several months ago, but um, life just kind of happens. Um, so I apologize. I appreciate all the feedback from everybody encouraging me to get this done, and I'm finally getting around to it, thank goodness. Um, just a couple of things that happened in the last month um, to prepare. Um, I did purchase and put in and install an AutoVox rear view mirror. And this was kind of just a trial run to see to kind of get over my fear of starting to open things up on the inside of my Land Cruiser. So if you have any issues about opening things up or, or afraid of it, you're not alone. Um, I wanted to kind of do a trial run. I spent like two days installing this AutoVox um, streaming media dash cam. A um, little pricey. Um, I did get it on sale at Amazon. And, uh, but I highly re recommend it. It's great. Um, there is a feature in it for um, lane departure, which doesn't function hardly at all. So if you're thinking about getting this, don't think that you're gonna get uh, any kind of relevant lane departure sensor in it. Um, but it does offer a great rear view uh, of the vehicle. I changed the camera position from where it was near the license plate originally on the Land Cruiser and I installed it underneath the fin, uh, uh, the top wind fin on the back, whatever that is. Uh, and I'll, hopefully I'll be able to edit and show you a, a picture of that in the video right now of where I mounted that. But I highly recommend putting it there. It was. It wasn't simple to install, but there were, it, it took two days. It didn't have to take two days, but I spent the time but mostly because I was learning about the vehicle and how to pop uh, brackets off and things like that from trim. So I um, highly recommended that. Um, I also purchased um, a pry tool kit. Um, helps tremendously and um, ended up purchasing a second one because over the couple months I kind of misplaced several of the instruments in here but uh, great use the one I used probably 90% of the time was this one right here and um, that you'll see me using and I also <laughs> I also purchased a uh, wiring diagram um, of the manuals that you can get for the for a Land Cruiser, the factory manuals. Um, this is offered a lot and it's not that expensive. It's like 15, 20 bucks. Now the full set of actual manuals can run you 150 to $200, but this is not that expensive and it's just kind of a backup plan that I have something, although I don't know quite how to read it that great. I do have something in my hand that I can try to cipher through if I get into trouble. So, uh, and then just ancillaries, tape to protect the, uh, the dash, cloth, uh, to cover things up when I'm getting things out. Um, another thing I wanted to show everybody about ordering these units that was very daunting to me was you got to see the unboxing and the unboxing everything was in a nice little kit and it was all bagged up and zip tied and looked nice and neat but once you start fitting things in and plugging things in it looks kind of scary so first thing there's going to be a lot of things you don't use like all of these half of them will not be used on my vehicle as far as I understand it at the moment. So there's that. Then you get into actually plugging things into the unit. And this, when you actually do a dry run and you plug things in, this is what you get. 
and that looks kind of scary to me. I don't know how it does to you, but it's a little intimidating. Um, so I just wanted to show you that, to show you that it is a little bit intimidating once you get things started to be plugged in and you have all of this stuff. But um, yeah, I told you I'd make you aware of everything that had to do with this installation. Um, no instructions. Um, there is a marker on the top that tells you what the pins are and the plug-ins are. Now a lot of times they don't make too much sense. Um, they'll, they'll give them a name, but the name doesn't seem very intuitive. Um, an example is this, and I did figure out what this is. I, it's been a couple months and I can't remember. Um, it's called the box, this is, or the control box is what they call it. So it, yeah, it is a box, um, and I'm sure it controls something, but being intuitive about what it's used for and what it controls, I don't know. Haven't figured that out yet, but I will. Um, so, there you go. Um, hopefully I'll get this done uh, in the next day or two, and, and depending on my editing skills, um, get it out to you. Hopefully I'll be able to show you some success, and so let's have some fun and frustration watching me try to, to put this in. See you in a minute.